Investigators say no one was watching a pair of employees who knowingly forged a financial audit, causing the state serious embarrassment and possibly costing all of us a ton of money. One state senator is bashing the governor and her appointees for not catching that problem sooner. News 13's Katie Kim is in the newsplex. D, nearly the entire board that oversees the New Mexico Finance Authority is appointed by the governor. Now there is talk of shaking up the entire operation. This should be the best run organization we've got in our state. But it was far from it. In a matter of a month, the New Mexico Finance Authority saw a forged audit. Two top executives arrested and its chief suspended. Investigators say former controller Greg Campbell cooked the books to make it look like the NMFA was better off than it actually was. A big no-no on Wall Street. The NMFA depends on its good reputation with investors to make sure it can provide low-cost loans to New Mexico cities and counties for expensive construction projects. But with this scandal... It's going to cost us tens of millions of dollars more each time we want to build any kind of facility. The investigation into how it happened continues, but Democratic State Senator Tim Keller is now turning his attention into why the problem went undetected for months. He blames the 11 member NMFA board, nine of whom were appointed by Governor Susana Martinez. Folks either don't have the expertise required to ask the right questions and look into the numbers, or they're too busy doing their day job, which they were hired to do. Keller points out four members are also cabinet secretaries who head up major state agencies. Economic Development Secretary John Barella, who says he sits on 30 or so other boards and committees, admits it's a balancing act. Probably everybody. Uh, who's involved with the NMFA uh, shares a little bit of responsibility. We know that uh, things happened in the past. Now we've got to focus now on fixing, uh, fixing the issue. Great. Senator Keller will introduce a bill that removes governor appointees and that requires members to have a financial background. The governor says she's open to proposals that fix the problems at the NMFA, like moving some of its duties to other state agencies. Back to you. All right, Katie, thank you. Both the COO, John Duff, and Greg Campbell are charged with racketeering and securities fraud and are both out of jail. State investigators have not said if they think the two cooked the books to make their budget look solid or if they were covering up something else.